Humble yourself before Jesus does it for you. Trust me, you're not as smart as you think you are. You're not as important as you think you are. I don't care how good looking you are, how much money you got, how many followers on Instagram you have. None of that stuff matters in the end scheme of things. In the grand scheme of things, the only one who's truly important is Jesus. Do you got more power than Jesus? Did you create the heavens and the earth? Did you live a sinless, perfect life on earth? And then did you die? And then three days later, you rose again? No. So you're not that important. So stop worrying about yourself more than you worry about Jesus and how you can serve others and give other people the gospel. No. All you guys care about is yourself. Me, me, me. I, I, I. I, I, I. What am I doing in my life? I don't care about Jesus. What is he doing for me? Oh, if Jesus is so uh, good and he was actually God, why is he allowing good people to go through bad things? It's called free will. If he were to jump in every time something bad was going to happen, we as humans would never have free will. It's talking about wisdom. Have some wisdom. How about you care about the creator instead of the creation? All, you know, the stuff around us is just creation. What about the designer? Not the design... Um, you know, not the creation. Worry about the creator. I'm all over the place today. Proverbs chapter nine, starting in verse ten. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. That is wisdom right there. That is true understanding, knowing the things of God, not oh, the things of the world. How much fame you have, you know, mathematics, science, whatever. That is all unimportant, insignificant compared to knowing the things of Christ. That is truly important. So I just encourage you guys, whoever's watching, all my um, new viewers out there, just take a step forward towards Jesus. Stop worrying about this world for a second. I know we have to worry about money. I know we have to worry about, you know, things that, you know, matter in a monetary sense, you know, in our day-to-day -day lives. But really taking the time to really get in the scriptures each and every single day, taking the time to prayer to pray, taking the time to spread the gospel with whoever you can to try to win souls to Christ, man, that is going to have eternal implications. That is going to give you eternal rewards in heaven. Man, what a great God he is. You know what's going to be temporary? Winning a UFC championship. You know what's temporary? Having $10 million in the bank. You know what's temporary? Hooking up with that pretty chick. You know what's temporary? Getting approval from men on earth. You know what's temporary? Everything else you can imagine that has nothing to do with Jesus. That is what's temporary on earth. So are you going to live this life for temporary things? Or are you going to live this life for eternal rewards, serving the true King of Kings, Lord of Lords? Who are you going to choose? Are you going to choose Jesus, the Son of God, who died for our sins? Or are you going to choose the devil, this world? You know what he said to Jesus in Matthew? Bow down and worship me, and I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world. That's what you're doing when you ignore Jesus and you choose everything else but Jesus. You bow down to Satan, you worship him, and you take in all the things he can give you. Anything Satan can give you, Jesus can give you infinite better things. Anything Satan can give you doesn't last very long. Anything Jesus gives you, it lasts forever. Which one are you going to choose, Satan or Jesus?